how to get yourself to control anger. How to control anger is the topic. In the book of First Samuel, First Samuel 1, 1 to 28, a story was told of a woman called Hannah. She was Elkanah's wife, second wife. She never had a child, and her mate was always mocking at her, thwarting her. Instead of getting angry, she went to God in prayer, telling God her pain and how she felt. Never at any time hating her mate. Pena Pe Penina. Never hated Penena. I think that's the name of her mate. One day, when she was in the church and was praying, Eli, the pastor, because pastors and great men of God don't, do not always know what is going on in the heart of everybody. Apart from God, not everybody always knows what goes on in the mind of everybody. And the Eli saw her praying. And he thought she was drunk. Thinking she was drunk. He, 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 on that misconception, said to her, she had, met, she had better stop drinking. Sometimes when you go to God asking him to help you, you pray hard to God. You find people mocking at you. Even people that you think should know better. Men of God. But then, if you make it and take it upon yourself, never to allow Satan to get into you, and you take it to prayers by not getting angry, God is going to surprise you, like he surprised Hannah. He gave us someone. There are people out there that probably they have not married at the, at the appropriate time. At least that's the opinion of the, of the world. But then the opinion of God is God's time is the best. And people are mocking at them. Let them not get angry or give up. God is going to give them somebody great. Somebody that is going to be better and greater than the, other, the person that other people are cutting. If they decide to go to God and refuse to get angry. The best thing any one of us should do is pray. Have you made up your mind to love Jesus Christ and you're doing exactly what Jesus wants to do? Just like Hannah was doing and was going to church and praying. And as a result of that, even the pastors, those that should know better, are mocking at you. If they are, don't hate them. Don't give up on meeting God. As you continue with God, God Almighty, well, in his right time, bless you with something and someone that will place you somewhere that those that are mocking at you would never expect you to be and will never get there despite all their generation. Father God Almighty, thank you for showing us the way to handle anger, the way to handle anger is to whenever we are thwarted, whenever, we're, when, whenever there is this misconception about us, and people say whatever they like to say about us, we should go to you in prayer. And if we go to you in prayer like Anna did, you, God Almighty, will bless us in a manner we've never expected that we'll ever be blessed. We thank you, God Almighty, we're going to do much more than we pray, because we have prayed in Jesus' name. Amen.